Hello guys, this is Joyce from Enjoy Scrapping 2. Today I'm here with Tipo Designs LLC and I'll be sharing an altered dictionary book cover. So here I have a dictionary that is super old. I think this is like over 60 years old. You can see uh, the book is, uh, the binding is breaking apart. It's very old. Um, my husband found it. I think this was like his brother's or something like that. So this is like a super old book. And um, I wanted to kind of do some journaling uh, on this. So I decided to um, alter this book. I wanted to do some uh, Bible um, art journaling. And I've ordered my Bible uh for art journaling, but I also wanted to do some journaling on uh, this book as well. So here I have some craft knife, and this is the industrial type of a uh, knife. I'm using that because I'm going to be cutting off uh, the cover and the binding off of the book. So because I haven't altered uh, anything in a while, I kind of had uh, some issues while I was doing this. So I couldn't film um, every single step of altering this book uh, because it took me about like four days or so to finish it. And um, so some were very challenging, which I will share. Here I have uh, this thing called craft text. It's like a, a paper type of a thing, but it's like paper fabric. If you are into uh, mini album making, you're probably familiar with that. Uh, at one point I used to be obsessed with mini albums, so I've collected quite a bit of stuff. So here I have a FedEx envelope you probably uh, get when you order from Tumbo Designs LLC. So I'm just reusing that. This envelope um, is a, sp a special paper where it will not rip. It's called Tyvek. In Tyvek, Tyvek, uh, but you can purchase it at your office, uh, your local office depot or something like that. Um, but I'm just reusing that. So I've attached it to my book binding. I could have made a whole new uh, book binding, but I really wanted to use the original um, cover and the binding. But what I did was I've attached that red line tape. It's from Ranger. It's a super sticky tape. You can also use score tape. Um, and you can probably use the Tombow Extreme as well, but you want something very strong. And here I'm attaching it to the cover and the back cover. So here you can see I'm back and I've attached some tissue paper. I was originally going to use the Yes Paste, but I did uh, change my mind and I used the Golden Soft Matte gel medium. Uh, if you're not familiar with Golden's medium, they do have an introductory pack which um, I purchased a while back and so that is perfect with all different types of mediums. So these tissue paper is just ordinary tissue paper that I've also collected um, from gift wrapping and wrapping from uh, packages from Triple Designs LLC. So now I'm going to add some gesso over this and I'm using the Faber-Castell Design Memory Crafts uh, gesso and I'm adding a little bit of water with it because I still want the colors of the tissue paper to show through. As you can see, I've used uh, purple tissue paper as well as the white. And this is going to give me a fantastic texture without adding um, it's a very easy texture you can achieve with tissue paper. Um, you just apply the matte medium all over the book 
and you wrinkle up the tissue paper and you just attach it, leaving the wrinkles in. So as you can see at the bottom, I'm not using the craft mat um, and I'm using, I just have a packing paper there and um, that's because underneath it, I have acrylic type of a mat where I can cut because uh, as you know, the um, craft mats are not mats to cut on. So uh, I'm, I, that's why I changed the mat. So here I have things arranged. Uh, some are uh, things that I've collected over the years. Uh, embellishments and some are actually made with chipboard and uh, I have some metal pieces and things like that and I've used a wide range of products for this book and um, I try to explain as much as I can but the full supply list will be linked in the description below if you want to um, check out or use some of the items that I'm using. So here I've uh, laid down some of the embellishments that I cut out and I'm going to put some gesso on top of it so we can add some color to it. Uh, all of the pieces are chipboard except that heart that's a wood uh, embellishment. I have no idea where I got that. Probably uh, from a lo my local scrapbook store. I'm not sure, but that was the only one I had. Uh, other than that, the rest are chipboards uh, from Tuville Designs LLC. They carry a very wide range of chipboards. So I'm sure you'll be able to find uh, the thickness and the color that you want. So I'm just using this pouncer, which is really great and to add um, the gesso and here I have a whole lot of products that I pulled out and at this point I still don't know what I want to do so I'm just going with it I don't have a plan or I don't really know what I'm going to do but I did pull out some stuff that I wanted to use some I've used some I didn't so as you saw, I took out some paints. I took out some eye zinc, which um, is kind of like a shiny metallic finish and there's a lot of colors available. I'm using here the Paper Artsy uh, paints. I really love Paper Artsy paints. Um, the colors are beautiful and these uh, can go on any surfaces and it doesn't need to be primed or anything. Uh, so I've used that. I've also pulled out some of my Dilutions paints, which I also love. So here I just, um, just adding some color here and there. And so this is where it gets kind of uh, complicating. And um, if I was to do it again, I would have probably decorated the covers uh, and uh, attached it afterwards. But because I didn't really think about that, uh, it was hard for me to film because I needed uh, the if I was doing if I was to put paint on the front I needed to be dried in order to flip it to the back and things like that that's why it was a little bit challenging to tape uh, the entire process but here I'm just adding some color and in just random uh, spots now I'm also adding the same color to the embellishments that we put gesso on. So as you can see, this book is really old, so um, it doesn't really uh, hold that shape well too because the papers are very thin and fragile. Here I'm trying to dry uh, some color. So here are the embellishments. I just added a little bit of color and this product right here is uh, it's a Ranger's distress paint this is like super old they discontinued uh, these this line they no longer have them but I wanted to use that because I still have it and what it does is it gives really um, little cracks once the paint is dry 
so it's a cool effect but there are other um, cracking mediums there's a ton of them and um, so I'm sure you'll be able to find what uh, you need and what you want so I'm just putting on some brown and this right here is tattered rose again the same uh, distress uh, paint crackle paint okay now I've added more color so uh, the browns um, I believe are the Inca gold I've used a lot of Inca gold here um, to give that shiny shimmer which I love and now I'm going to be doing some stamping I took out some of uh, um, some bow bunny stamps for my marketing stamps all different types and I'm using uh, stays on here and I'm just randomly stamping so that it'll have additional texture so I had a whole lot of fun making this, even though it was a little bit difficult. That was, that's uh, because um, I think I made it difficult and I didn't really think about it because I haven't altered anything in a while. So, so here I'm uh, making sure to do the same thing to my uh, spine as well as the back cover so that it'll all match so uh, how i like to work in layers is uh, for my first layer of colors i like to use uh, paints and mediums that won't reactivate with uh, like water or any other type of medium that makes it a lot easier um, so that you can uh, add additional uh, layers without having to worry about your bottom layer uh, getting smudged. So the paints that I've used, um, which like Deco Art, I Zinc, uh, Paper Artsy, you know things like that, they're permanent once they're dried, so they won't uh, reactivate or um, change in color when you add on top on top of it and that was one of the reason why i was so bummed out that i couldn't film the entire process because um i wanted to share that with you guys so if you wanted to like follow along with me um you would you can get the same look but um i'll be doing a lot more mixed media work uh so you'll definitely be seeing more altered uh, book covers in the future so I'm adding some stamps here and they're just uh, I believe this is a bow bunny stamp and I'm using stays on I've used a jet black and then I've also used a timber brown you can use archival ink if you like Something that again won't uh, activate with uh, water or uh, mediums. So uh, please uh, leave me a comment uh, letting me know that if you like things like this, uh, I can definitely be doing more of uh, mixed media work. And if you don't mind the long videos, obviously if I was to film this entire process, I would probably have to split it up because uh, this video is like 30 minutes long and uh, it cut out a, I cut out a lot of steps. But for this year, 2016, I'll be incorporating uh, art journals, mixed medias, um, as well as uh, scrapbook layouts on, on top of uh, my normal card making. So let me know if you like that idea. So now I'm back and I've put on some of these pastes 
as you can see there are cracks in the paste so this is uh, what happens with the crackle paste um, so I thought that would be perfect match uh, to my cover that we've already decorated and has all those fun textures there's a lot of different brands out there so I I don't know if you can see that but I've also used a honeycomb type of a stencil and I have also uh, put some paint and on top of the paint I've added the ink of matching ink of gold so that I could add more shimmer and shine so I really like um, shimmery sparkly glittery I think that's really fun and here you can see on some of the embellishments that we painted the crackle paint you can see that little cracks right there I do believe they still sell the clear uh, crackle paint Tim Holtz has and you can definitely add colors to it but I think that crackle look is super cool. And then I've also added color on top of the crackle paint. So whatever color I use on the book, I've added it to the embellishments so that it'll match. And you can see that great texture. And I've also stamped on the embellishments as well using some text stamp. So I've used uh, various products, actually a lot of different products. So all the, the full supply list will be listed in the description below or you can go over to my blog which will have more information. So here I finished the back side of the book and the size so that I could show you what I did on the front. So I've added some colors here, the drippings, um, I've used the gold, uh, the Tim Holtz Distress Spray that I recently got that is absolutely gorgeous. So I've used some of that. I've also used some of these Bow Bunny Bronze Shimmer Spray as well. And I'm spraying it and I don't want to get it on the pages so I have a piece of notebook paper there. But I'm just spraying it here and there. And of course, the closer you go to the book and spray, the color will be a lot more intense. Um, if you spray it farther, then it'll be less intense. But in certain areas, I'm also adding some water so that the uh, colors can go in between the cracks. And that is the uh, cool look. I like uh, because when it is cracked and then there's colors in between it I think that looks super cool so again I'm doing it here and there and I'm doing it slowly uh, because I want to kind of uh, see how it's gonna look and then in certain areas I'll add water so that it'll move more Again, in certain areas, I'm adding water so that um, it'll go in between the cracks. So the uh, paint drippings will go down further or move more. So now I'm back, everything is dried. And I don't know if you can see, but on the crackle paste, there's also like a greenish tint to it. Um, I've added the Paper Art Seas, um, the Gold, Treasure Gold, which is fantastic. I really love it. And in certain areas, you can see some iridescent sparkle. And that is using the Bow Bunny's um, Sugar Paste. So it's like a clear but sparkly. You can see that right there, the sparkle. 
here I've added it to the paint as well and whatever I did to the front and the back um, I made sure to continue it on to the spine. I just love um, the different colors. The way uh, the light catches it, it looks like a different color. So as you can see, uh, it's a dictionary book. And uh, later on, I'll be doing some journaling on it, which will be fun. I've added this Tim Holtz ideology. This, this is a corner uh, metal piece. I believe it's a photo frame. Here's the treasure gold. There's many colors available. This is paper artsy line. And uh, this sugar bow bunny paste. I've actually just used a paintbrush and, and my finger and rubbed it here and there, just randomly. I've also used some uh, Perfect Pearl pigment powders as well in certain areas. And I've done the same thing to uh, the embellishments as well so that it'll match. So here's the picture there and it's good to take a picture because after you're all done doing all this, uh, this and that, later on you'll forget uh, what layout that you kind of planned on. So um, that makes it easier for me anyways. So there are some metals as well as some chipboard. So here I put some embossing powder on this metal piece as well as that texture paste. I've added Inca gold, treasure gold, some Perfect Pearl powders, some I've added uh, embossing powders, and these right here were silver glittered chipboard pieces that I had. It was bright silver, uh, glittered, uh, but I kind of distressed it and added the same colors that I've used so that it'll match uh, my book. Otherwise it would have been super bright, super silver, like bright silver. So I really uh, like the look. In certain pieces, I've added the um, both the not both, but combination of the uh, Tim Holtz spray, the gold spray, as well as the Bow Bunny spray, and I mixed it with the matte medium to create um, like a type of a, like a gel medium in a way, in the colored gel, and um, put it on top of certain areas for this uh, foiled. Uh, piece the alphas I didn't really do much to it um, I've added the matte medium and the bow bunnies bronze shimmer spray to the edges of the letters and that's it and now I'm um, putting everything together and it's a good thing that I had the phone uh, when I took a picture of it because I totally forgot where I was going to put everything so that totally helped me out I think I kind of went overboard on the cover initially I wanted to make it pretty simple and um, not to add too much dimension but once I got started I couldn't stop it was one of those things where <laughs> You know, you have to stop at a certain point, but you just keep continuing, and that's what I just kept doing. I just kept adding, and um, <laughs> I think uh, it kind of went overboard, but that's okay. Because you'll see later on in the close-up photos that I've, I've added a lot more than what I actually planned to add. 
that butterfly in the center was colored uh, and ink of gold and all of those same mediums but on top of it I put um, the ultra thick embossing uh, powder so it is glossy and it has a lot of dimension so this is when I kind of finished adhering everything. I've used the hot glue gun to attach most of these uh, embellishments. As you can see, I have a lot more additive that I added to the book cover, but it still felt like something was missing. And so I actually sent this picture to Jane I changed the lighting so that you can catch all the shimmer and shine and the different colors um, so that you can see it uh, better. But yeah, I I've, I've sent it to Jane. I said, do you like this? I mean, you know, how does it look? And of course, she's super sweet. So, you know, she said everything looks beautiful. You did a great job, uh, you know, but that white, resin rose is really uh stark white <laughs> and you're right i mean when you look at it it's just bright white and that's what i think i needed to fix and um just added some same colors to the rose just made a whole lot of difference and um so in the close-up photos you'll see the colors that i've added to the resin flowers here I put a little key inside of the heart. I thought that was super cute. And this kind of looks like the button. I've added some of these um, embellishments. They, they are kind of old bow bunny. Um, it looks like that. I think it's a brad, but I just cut the backing off and attached it using uh, my glue gun. So I really like um, how it turned out. So you'll definitely be seeing uh, some journal pages inside this book. But there's a lot of different texture, colors, variation, and I really like the way it turned out. And that rose, <laughs> that just uh, finished it. It was like the perfect finishing touch. Thanks, Jane. <laughs> you know, if you guys have been following um, Tupelo Designs LLC and Jane, uh, she's a fantastic mixed media artist, so I definitely needed uh, the advice from her. So here's the treasure gold. I really love treasure gold. I love my Inca gold, but I also love the treasure gold. The paper artsy line, I really think they're high quality. Uh, these will last you a very long time. This, uh, the Bobunny texture paste right here, the glitter paste is clear, but it's iridescent. So when, when I was adding some color to the roses, I've also added uh, some more color to some of the metal embellishments. Adding some more of the Paper Artsy treasure golds so yeah this is uh, my cover i hope you guys enjoy this um i was a little bummed out i couldn't show you guys all the steps but um i'll definitely be doing more and the next one uh i'll be able to film i'll, I'll film the entire process so that you can see it or follow along with me I'm definitely not a pro mixed media artist or anything like that whatsoever. Um, so I just uh, wanted to alter this book so that I could journal in it. So here's the rose. I think that just made the perfect everything just match better. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.